more than 700 people were arrested across France on the fifth night of violent protests triggered by the fatal shooting of a teenager by police. The unrest has triggered a wave of cancellations, including President Emmanuel Macron's visit to Germany. Janice Lowe reports. It was another long night for tens of thousands of police officers on the streets of France. Authorities struggled to contain violent protests, which began days ago after a teenage boy was shot dead during a traffic stop. But the nationwide unrest seemed to be finally losing momentum as it continued for the fifth consecutive evening. More than 700 people were arrested overnight. A sharp drop from the 1,300 or so arrests made the previous day. Dozens of police and paramilitary officers were wounded. Things even got heated at times in Marseille, where officers deployed tear gas to disperse protesters. Some rioters even looted stores, including a gun shop in France's second largest city. Over in the southern Parisian suburb of Les Le Hauss, Mayor Vincent John Brown said that protesters rammed into his house with a car before setting the vehicle and the building on fire. He described the incident as an assassination attempt. His wife and one of their two children, aged five and seven, were injured as they fled the building before dawn. But the mood was somber at Nanterre as hundreds gathered near a mosque for the funeral of Nahel M the 17-year-old who was gunned down by police last week. The deteriorating situation prompted President Emmanuel Macron to cancel a state visit to Germany. But it was not just diplomacy that the protests have disrupted. Prime Minister Elizabeth Bourne has also called off major events in France, including two concerts held by singer Mylene Farmer at the State de France. Fashion label Celine also scrapped a menswear show at the capital tonight. Its designer said that the cancellation was a great disappointment, but emphasized that the participants' safety came first. And with the Tour de France now underway, it remains unknown whether the nationwide chaos would jeopardize the prestigious cycling race. The organizers said they are ready to adapt to any situation. Janice Lowe, HKIBC.